So at the moment, you can make around about 100 million GP per hour just doing some trash runs in ED4. I'm going to explain how you can do that in this video, and it is pretty high level gear that you're going to want to have. However, you can do it with range mainly on magic. Magic does seem to work better in my opinion because of greater chain and great concentrated blast as you can stack them together. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you just how you can go ahead and make an absolute fortune just running the first two rooms in ED4, show you all the settings and how I would set it up, and then I'm going to explain everything you need, show you a gear suggestion, and then show you the profits that I have made while making this video. I have only done three or four hours of this, and I can confirm that this is around about 100 mil an hour, but it does have the potential to go even higher, and I will explain why when we get to that point too. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and as I said, this is high-level stuff, so we are going to be talking about some high-level gear. So, let's get into this. So as for the gear setup, of course, Crippling Armor is going to help as ED mobs do help a lot. So I would suggest bringing that if you do have access to it. However, if you don't, then don't worry about it. Bring some Ganda, Mutant Animate Dead, or use Power Gear. Power Gear works just as well as you are wanting to do DPS. Next up, you want to have a Wand and Orb and a Staff to use the method that I'm using with Magic. Greater Chain, Greater Concentrated Blast, and I would suggest having an Essence of Finality with the Guthic Staff as well, as you are going to need that to be able to use the method that I used. As well as having a Zuck Cape for the Omni Power buff is also going to be incredibly useful. Otherwise, you can basically just bring anything to increase your DPS. I would suggest having a look at the dwarves on though, as you can get the procs through the dungeon, so this will increase the amount of gold you get per hour. Other than that, bringing things like overloads and making sure you have the best damage prey that you can, soul split and stuff, all going to be good, and of course, I would suggest having a DPS aura as well. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, bring as much damage stuff as you can. I would suggest using things like blaster fusion boots, maybe cinder banes, and if you're on range, then of course, use chin chompers, melee, you want to use a halberd weapon to get through these as fast as possible, bring along a blade of die switch with an Excalibur as you are going to be resetting on the Altar of War, meaning you can Excalibur as often as you want, and that's pretty much it. The final thing that you absolutely need to have to be able to do this method and make upwards of 75 to 100 mil an hour is the Lucky Charms, the Zamoraki and Undercity ones. You're going to want to teleport to Daemon Heme or Daemon Helm or Daemon whatever the frick you want to call it, and then go over here to the guy that sells them. You will trade the person called Brill, uh, th whatever you can see. We're going to go to consumables and we're going to buy the the Lucky Charm at Zamorakian City, Undercity uh, Lucky Charms. Now, you may not have a ton of engineering tokens. These do cost 15k tokens each, but they are absolutely worth it. If you don't have these, then unfortunately, you can only make around about 20 mil an hour doing this method, but 20 mil an hour is still 20 mil an hour for a pretty low um, thing, but you could probably do better elsewhere. So, if you can buy yourself some of these, the more you can buy, the better. I know a lot of people have a lot of engineering tokens, but if not, then unfortunately, you are going to want these to make the method a hell of a lot better. But, these are what we're going to be taking advantage of. So make sure you grab some of those and then head back towards retreat. Okay, so for the tricky part of this entire thing, this is going to be something you have to practice if you don't already have it down. But basically, if you use Greater Chain, you can cancel a Greater Concentrator Blast, use a Gothic Staff, and then throw an Omni Power and get it all on the same targets because of the one Greater Chain. You have to cancel your Greater Concentrator Blast animation by swapping to a Staff after two hits, then use Gothic Staff, and then use Omni Power. They will all stack together, meaning you get a ton of damage. This is going to open the first room for you in this dungeon instantly. So, this is why it's so important to use magic and have these two abilities. So what we're going to do is Chroming with um, our dual wield with a great chain, then cancel the uh, great concentrator blast after two hits by swapping to our staff, then use Gothic Staff, then use Omni Power. It'll look like this. And as you can see, all of the hits are going to come through and get stacked up on every single target that we hit, and you'll get all through all of that down. That's a lot of damage, and then afterwards, all you're going to want to do is throw out a Dragon Breath on a couple of the mages, which I'll show you an example of, and uh, that will clear the first room for you. Okay, so great. We've got the setup and stuff. How are we actually going to make money from this in it? Well, the way you're going to make money is through the slivers. Now, if you are taking the Lucky Charms here, you have a chance of getting these slivers. They drop in bundles of one to five, and I can give you the prices of them right now. The prices of the Sliver of Pain is 10 million GP each. You have to have 10 of each Sliver to combine them into one of the enchantments. 
10 million GP each as of making this video for the Shard of Pain, which is the blue one. The Shard of Strength, which is the orange one, is 3 million GP each, and the Shard of Power, which is the yellow one, is 5.6 million GP each. These prices were done literally as I made this video. I made the enchantments and I sold them, worked on the profit with what I was making, and that is the profit that came. Of course, these prices will shift once this video goes live, but I don't expect it to shift dramatically or it will eventually stabilize out again as you do have to have these lucky charms to do it. Also, it is a little bit boring to do this method, but it is incredible money. Running the dungeon alone is 20 million GP in trash loot. Of course, this may be a little bit less depending on GE prizes, but seeing as these shards do drop in chunks of five each, if you get a stack of five slivers of pain, that is going to be 50 million GP. Now, if you add the fact that you will usually get more than one set of dropped per run you can end up making an absolute fortune here up to around about 100 million gp per hour is what i've been finding now you could go unlucky and you could end up getting three lots of the strength ones as i will show you on screen right now i got this it was a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is however look at this on the bright side you could have got 17 shards of pain instead meaning that you would end up getting 170 million gp had you got that so this will balance out eventually and you are going to get them now you can expect expect to use around about 10 lucky charms per hour from what I could tell. Sometimes you'll use something like 14, sometimes you may go really unlucky and get 4. However, even when I was only getting 4 used per hour, I was still making around about 70 million GP. As long as you get some shard drops or some sliver drops, should I say, then it's still absolutely fine. But these slivers of pain are obviously where you want to get your profit from, but the rest still add up very, very nicely. Once you've managed to get 10 of each sliver, you're then going to go to the Grand Exchange and invest a little bit of money to get an instant return. What we are going to be doing is crafting the enchantment of metaphysics with the sliver of pain, the enchantment of heroism with the sliver of strength, and the enchantment of shadows with the sliver of power. You need 10 of each, and then you will also need three of the corresponding scrimshaws of that combat style. And then you will also need to have static gloves for the magic one, the pneumatic gloves for the melee one, and tracking gloves for the range one. You're also then going to need 3,000 brilliant energy for each of these as well and then you combine them up and sell them for a big profit obviously you use 10 slivers for each one so the profits is 10 times the values that i gave at the individual value of the slivers so it's going to be around about 100 mil for using the magic one around about 30 mil for the strength one and around about 56 mil for the range one so these do add up very much and you can get a hell of a lot of profit from them so now that you know how to make the money where the money comes from let's talk about the actual method of course you can switch this up to make it fit with range or melee however you want to do it maybe Maybe you can improve on how I've been doing it as well, but this is what I was doing and I felt like it was going pretty well and of course I was still making a ton of money. Okay, so all that's left for me to do is show you exactly what I do when I run this dungeon. Ignore the 99 keys, that is for tomorrow's video. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to be doing is, one, putting in my bank pin, and then grabbing ourselves a Ripper Demon, because that is going to help us out just getting through a little bit faster kills. Then you could use Incense Sticks, you could use Weapon Poison. I will use Weapon Poison, I'm not going to use Incense Sticks. Now, then you're going to want to load your preset, as I showed you earlier on in the video, and make sure you have a DPS Prayer on. I'm going to use Maniacal, I am going to extend this, and I will just do a couple of run after I've shown you the example so it's not going to go to waste now normally when you bank you're going to teleport towards you're going to use this altar here and then you're going to make your way down to the adrenaline crystal once you get there just surge down use the adrenaline crystal and make sure you have at least 75 percent adrenaline 75 percent is the safe number that i've noticed you can probably use a little bit less don't panic if you drop a little bit but other than that come here go to enrage mode make sure you press custom and type in 20. now there's a reason you want to use 20 and that is because when you have 20 um, percent enrage you get this little dark wizard master in the middle now this is going to be incredibly good because it's an extra thing that you can attack meaning you can actually get a better chance at using your uh, your lucky charms there's no point adding any more enrage in this because all it's going to do is end up just making it take longer to kill the things but in this enrage you can still insta kill this first room and it doesn't really do anything to slow you down it just gives you more things to kill so you're going to put on your curses, make sure you have your overloads on, all that sort of good stuff. And then we're going to do the combo that we talked about earlier. However, you want to stand just here diagonal from this Elder Wizard. These two wizards on the left will not die. You can't, they won't die from the combo because they have more health than these ones on the side here. So you want to use a dragon breath on these straight after the combo. I will show you how that looks. So you're going to come down. I blade a dive and surge up to there. And then I will use my chroming on this guy. Use the great concentrated blast. Change to my staff. Use Guthic Staff, Omni Power, and then use Dragon Breath on these. 
That will open up the room. That one will die to poison. Don't worry about it. Move down and stand on this side of this mage here. You want to use Greater Concentrated Blast on this. Use a Detonate to clear off anything else. I use Detonate and Tsunami here. And then I will use my Magma Tempest. You don't have to have Magma Tempest. Don't worry. Then just use Greater Const uh, the Greater Chain and all that sort of good stuff to get through this. Obviously, you take a bit of damage. So Animate Dead does definitely help. Now, you will get a little bit quicker than this. This is just because I'm talking and doing live commentary. You don't need to kill this one. And you don't need to kill this one. Once you've done that, just get out. As you can see, we just propped one of the Lucky Charms during this run. That won't happen every time. It does happen. It can You can go 10, 20 minutes dry on them. Honestly, you can. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you get two in one run. It's completely random. But you will get through around about 10 an hour. Then all you're going to do is come here, use the altar, use your enhanced Excalibur because you can to get your health back and then just surge your way back down, get your adrenaline back and go back through. You will rarely need to use any food because you've got the enhanced Excalibur using Animate Dead. Uh, and I don't use my Wen book because it can mess up the Great Concentrate Blast Great Chain combo. Now, after you've done that, come back in, just store your adrenaline, go back in here and then it's number two for no, number three from rage mode, number six for custom rage and then type 20 and get yourself back in. Once that's done, rinse and repeat, blade of dive and surge, and go from there, just as you saw me do before. So it's that, and then throw this out, get your, get your gothic staff off, throw your omni power, and then do your dragon breath. And as you can see, let's you straight through, nice and easy, move over to the left. Use your greater chain, <laughs> you know how it goes, greater concentrated blast, detonate, and tsunami. And then from there on, it's just getting rid of the little last bit of, of stragglers make sure you still use greater chain and all that sort of good stuff if you're wanting to use range if you want to use melee you guys will have to figure out the best way to stack these but otherwise it's just clearing them off as quick as you can and teleporting out and then hoping that you get a lucky charm proc i didn't get on this time you won't get them all the time like i said that's pretty much it once you've done a full hour go back down and check what's in your chest and see if you've made any good money so let's have a look in our chest and see what we've made there you have it. That is how I've been making around about 100 million GP per hour at ED4 with these Lucky Charms. As you can see, out of those two runs, I did get one Lucky Charm proc and I didn't get any slivers. You're not guaranteed to get slivers every single time. They are just fairly common to get and they do add up very quickly in price. However, just out of those two runs, we did make 712k and we had a chance again the slivers, which could have been up to 50 mil. So with a little bit of luck and a little bit of consistency here, you will be making an absolute fortune. Anyway, that is going to bring us to the end of this guide. I have shown you how how I use my method with magic. I've shown you about the actual greatest chain combination and I've shown you how you can make money here and explain on what you need to be making. I hope it has been helpful. This guy did take me a hell of a long time to do as I did test this out for many hours before I came and I wanted to make sure that this was a genuine money maker as telling you guys is a 100 million GP money maker in game at the moment is a big thing for me to be able to say like I needed to back this up. I did this for about five to seven hours myself and I, it, it paid off. It paid off. I made about 75 mil to 100 mil every single hour and it was just absolutely crazy but i hope you guys make a, a fortune out of this of course it will drop in price of course now that everyone starts to go and do it but hopefully it stabilizes and in the future i assume it will go back up as well anyway if you enjoyed do leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new channel members your names will be on screen right now of course thank you all so much for your extra support other than that thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys for any channel members wondering why you may not have got this early, I just didn't want to share this with the channel members first as it is a very high money making method and it probably could be considered real world trade if you guys are paying for early access to this sort of thing. So I wouldn't want to sort of sell that sort of thing as a benefit to the channel members. Sorry about that. I appreciate that you guys pay for it and I appreciate the support, but hopefully you do understand. See you later guys. Bye. <laughs>